Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at my channel, Jesus Truth. The title of this video is 10 Reasons Why Jesus Is God. We need to start this video with the important question, who is Jesus? Could Jesus possibly be God? Or was he just some crazy guy running around claiming to be God? And why does it even matter? If you are a Christian, then the answer to this question is of the utmost importance. In the world we live in today, there are many viewpoints and opinions on who Jesus really is. For example, Muslims believe that Jesus was one of Islam's many prophets, a good and holy man, but certainly not the Son of God. Mormons believe God created Jesus through a relationship with one of his celestial wives. In fact, according to the Mormon publication Pearl of Great Price and the LDS website, even Satan was a son of God and a brother of Jesus, equal with Jesus in nature. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus was and is merely an angel who is just one of the many gods they say exist. In fact, they claim that Jesus is actually Michael the Archangel. Let's look at this quote. Scriptural evidence indicates that the name Michael applies to God's Son before he left heaven to become Jesus Christ and also after his return. So they're saying that Michael was Jesus in heaven, then he became Jesus on earth, and then he went back to heaven and he's Michael again. That's kind of crazy. Hindus believe that Jesus was one of many great and holy men. Many Hindus believe that Jesus was a good teacher and perhaps one of their 330 million avatars. Buddhists believe that Jesus was an enlightened man, but as God, no. New Agers believe Jesus was a great enlightened teacher who realized he was God, just like we all can realize we are God. So yes, there exists a wide variety of opinions as to who Jesus was and is. Some say he was a great man, others a prophet, others an angel, or just one of many gods. But what does the Bible say about Jesus? So here are 10 reasons why Jesus is God. Reason number 10. The Apostle Thomas called Jesus God. In John chapter 20 verses 27 and 28, Jesus said, Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here and look at my hands, and reach your hand here, and put it in my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. On a side note, I think this is where the term Doubting Thomas came from. Reason number nine. The Apostle Peter called Jesus God. In 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1, it says, Simon Peter, a bondservant and apostle of Jesus Christ, said, to those who have obtained like precious faith with us by the righteousness of our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Reason number eight, the Apostle Paul called Jesus God. In Bible verse Titus chapter two, verses 12b through 14, it says, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age, looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. Reason number seven, the Apostle John called Jesus God. In John chapter one, verses one through three, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. We can verify that the Word means Jesus in John chapter 1 verse 14. It says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Reason number six, Isaiah the prophet said the Messiah would be God. Let's look at Isaiah chapter nine, verse six. 
For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Reason number five. The Jews who crucified Jesus understood him to be saying that he was equal with God. Let's look at John chapter 5, verse 18. Therefore the Jews sought all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but also said that God was his Father, making himself equal with God. Also we have John chapter 10, verse 33. The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, and because you, being a man, make yourself God. Reason number four. Jesus gives eternal life and forgives sins. In John chapter 10, verses 27 and 28, it says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Next we have Mark chapter 2, verses 5 and 7. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven you. And some of the scribes were sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why does this man speak blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sins but God alone? So in these two verses, it's very clear that Jesus is giving eternal life and forgiving sins, which makes him equal with God. Reason number three, Jesus' blood is called God's blood. Let's look at Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Therefore take heed to yourselves and to all the flock, among which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers, to shepherd the church of God, which he purchased with his own blood. Reason number two. Jesus called himself I Am and the Alpha and Omega. In John chapter 8, verse 58, it says, Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. And in Revelation chapter 22, verses 12 and 13, Jesus says, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So it's clear to see in that verse that if Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, then he is God. It's just that plain to see. And last but not least, reason number one, God himself, the Father, called Jesus God. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 8, it says, But to the Son he says, he being God the Father, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. So there you have it, 10 reasons why Jesus is God. So who do you say Jesus is? If you believe what Christians down through the centuries have believed, then you believe that Jesus was and is God Almighty, absolutely equal in nature with the Father and the Holy Spirit, the other two persons in the Trinity. But why should we believe this? Plain and simple, that's what the Bible teaches. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel. You can do so by clicking the link on the screen now, and this way you will get updates to my latest videos. I will try to do at least two new videos per week. Also, share this video with your friends and family to help spread the truth of Jesus Christ. God bless, and I'll see you next time.